Well, since the cancer reform strategy, um, we have appointed a public health consultant who works with the team and also works as part of the public health network. So we've got that really good engagement. And um, Rona Cruikshank, who is our public health lead, um, is pulling together all, all the different strands around um, uh, prevention um, on, uh, and cancer. Um, we did have the Cancer Alliance, uh, Manchester versus Cancer Alliance, which was established a couple of years ago, which is now being reframed. And that brings together um, not just the acute, it's Christie Hospital Acute Services, but also um, the network and, and public health brings, brings the ideas and, and together and includes the um, prevention, cancer prevention network as well. And our focus, I think, in the past has been on acute services. Um, and when I've talked to public health consultants about um, aspects of prevention, I've been told really we need to focus on smoking because that's going to make have the biggest impact. Um, but I think the future is also about diet, um, physical exercise, obesity as well, and the impact that has on cancer. Our biggest challenge is going to be around the funding of, of some of the programmes. As we work in and prevention, certainly around uh, raising awareness of cancer, we're going to get more patients coming through, hopefully, so that we can pick up the cancer sooner. But if you pick up cancer sooner um, and then the patient has to have radiotherapy, they like to have, to have more, uh, four times more radiotherapy. So that's going to cost more. Um, you, you could argue that um, but we are also looking at the, the tra tra to transform the inpatient care pathway so that um, we have patients in hospital for shorter, that we are introducing new technologies, new techniques, new models of care, um, which mean the patient has a better experience and a better outcome. And actually it will cost less. So any savings made by introducing uh, new ways of working could hopefully be re um, reinvested in things like radiotherapy, new drugs, um, and of course prevention as well. But relatively speaking, prevention doesn't cost as much as some of the treatments. So as long as we have the right type of prevention going on, the right sorts of initiatives, that we are evaluating some of the initiatives, I think that would be a good thing. And one of my concerns is that um, a lot of initiatives are springing up, um, but actually not all of them are effective. And one of the pieces of work that Rona is leading is actually a market management uh, project around looking at the various initiatives, who's doing what, what actually works, and, and is that what we want to be funding? That's one of our projects. I think, first of all, continue to support the delivery of the cancer uh, reform strategy and make sure it's a high profile. I really would like to see the government um, giving more money towards um, radi radiotherapy equipment and also perhaps to um, have a central way of funding that equipment um, so that we can get it, we can get it cheaper.